going. Oh, is it recording? Yeah. Ah. Hello, have you ever wondered how to wrap your horse's legs? I'm here to teach you how. Today we are going through several different tips I have on making your wraps look perfect. Much in the same way this wrap looks. You're welcome! The first step to wrapping your horse's legs. As you know, your first wrap is never good enough. Make sure you always do your wraps twice. Here is my first wrap. Not good enough. We're going to simply do it again. Yes, please. Sure. Some people may say that maybe their first wrap no good. Maybe their second wrap no good. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can do it a third time. And you go like this. Shh. It is fine. You make your wraps perfect. Oh, voila. And if you think your horse can damage itself, you are right, because it has three unwrapped legs. But this leg, safe. It is very important that you always wrap not just one leg, but two legs. If you wrap just one leg, you get circulation issues that cause your horse to fall off its leg, or the leg to fall off the horse. Very important, you wrap not one, but two legs. So, you just wrap two legs at one time to prevent any circulation issues. You'll see how I do? I do very well. You simply Velcro. And look, perfect. No circulation issues at all. When you go to wrap, it is important that you cover the area completely that you want to wrap. Say your horse has an injury here. You start your wrap here to wrap the whole area. See, like so. And then you wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Don't, don't leave any area exposed. Make sure that you cover everything. This is what we call a full wrap. Sometimes when you look at your wrap, it's not long enough, it's not wide enough, you need to adjust your wrap. It's okay to turn it like so. You just feel like this, and then you just, you know, you just go for it. It's okay, you know. Ah, no! And once again, one more. Perfect, muy perfecto. I mean, yes, there's no padding on parts of the leg. That's okay, we don't care about that part of the leg. Sometimes the area that you want to wrap is just one singular area, and you have too much padding. This is how you handle that, okay? And then sometimes you have a little bit extra of this, so you just, you know, tuck it into the top, and it's fine. It's good to go. This is a finished wrap. Looks beautiful. The area I want to wrap is covered, and the rest, you know, who cares? People are selling fly sheets, fly boots. The only problem is they cost many, many monies. Today, I'll show you how to make it without costing many monies. First things first, you grab a wrap. Now you see here, I got plenty of protection, plenty of padding. She's good for them flies. Just look at her paws. She's clearly proud of herself. You got the little flippy, flippy flop, and then you got very secure up here. I will do the flippy flippy, do the flippy flippy on both legs, it's good to go. Sometimes you just can't wrap the leg, it's easier to chop it off. So I'll show you, you just, and look, now you don't need to wrap the rest of this leg. It's fine, she got three other legs she can use, she doesn't need all four legs. Oh look, it's back, it's magic. Shh. Sorry. Perfect dog, oh Jesus. Real quick, so I'm afraid she's gonna try moving and then be like, oh my god, I'm losing together. Okay, let's go spread them, girl. Spread them, honey. Yes, honey. Okay, I'm cooperative right now. 